Okay, so we're back revisiting Dying Light 2. <clears throat> Not necessarily because I really wanted to. Uh, I had some issues with my game files. And I'm, I'm working on um, bringing over some of my progress of, of video games over onto a new console. Uh, I lost my first Dying Light 2. Well, the very last one I had, which... We did a review of the latest patch, it obviously didn't go well, and it did spark some feedback that I've seen a lot. So, I figured I'd go ahead and boot up Dying Light 2, start it all over again from fresh, because honestly, that's the only real way you may be able to see any improvements with this game. Because oftentimes, save files, at my experience, they don't... They don't transition well into the new patches they just they just don't so yeah i guess starting over again i'm i might see some of these improvements that it's it's claimed this this latest patch is is addressing like it's fixing some of the issues but i figured since we're here again uh let's go over at least three common Three common things that I see when people are discussing the negative side, like, ne just the negative stuff when it comes to the PlayStation 4. Uh, number one, one of the criticisms I saw with my last video was, um, I needed to let the game load, right? That, that's why I saw the, the, the gray shapes and stuff. Because I didn't stand around long enough playing rock, paper, scissors, or maybe whistling to myself until I thought maybe the game was finished loading in. And then I could show you, right? Then we could have, like, a real look at it. Listen, the problem with that is, if you do that with your game, if you just sit around two, three minutes, it, it could. Everything will load in, and it could be hunky-dory. Kind of. But eventually, about an hour or two, you there's a good chance that you're gonna have to cl close out of the game and maybe even restart your console because the bugs will they'll start creeping into your experience about an hour or two into the experience right um so even if you just let everything load in you sit there for three minutes doing nothing and then start moving through the world right the fact that it's loading in like that tells me that eventually those but like it's gonna get janky and buggy and really weird at like an hour or two into the experience that's a very common occurrence with this game on the ps4 so just saying well it'll be fine if you just let everything load in uh yes and no yes and it it will it will be better but for how long is the question right so uh that answers that, which I did respond to that person in in kind. Uh, then there is the very con- and I, I really get tired of seeing this. I get tired of seeing this. It's, um, what is it? Uh, well, it's they, they phrase it in different ways, but really what they're saying is that the PS4 cannot handle Dying Light's two's amazing open world. Like, this, this console just can't handle it, bro. All right, it's ancient technology, man. Don't you get it? And that's really funny. Somebody should tell Ubisoft that. And they should tell the makers of Elden Ring that. Because if I'm not mistaken, Elden Ring and Far Cry 6's open world is uh it's at the very least comparable to Dying Light 2. Some would argue that the uh the open world design's better. And perhaps bigger. To that, I would I would say that you know I think the the island of Yara is actually bigger than uh, than Villador, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, if I wanted to eyeball it, I would say so. Uh, those games perform just fine. No worse, no worse than any open world game. A huge collection of open world games you can play on this system. Dying Light Two somehow struggles if all these other games perform just fine with this game or this this console is it really the console's fault if you could pop in elden ring and far cry 6 and they behave just fine and then you try to play this game and it doesn't is it really the console 
And then the third one on the list is you shouldn't expect high performance from PlayStation 4. It's old. Again, this kind of this kind of it's kind of a part of the last, right? The last it's oh, it's PlayStation 4's fault. Um, I don't think anyone who owns a PlayStation 4 is asking for some imaginary level of high performance. Okay, to say I want Dying Light 2 to perform just as well as any other open world game I have for my PlayStation 4. <sighs> Dying Light 2 should perform just as well as other open world games on the PS4. That's not asking for high performance, I don't think. I could be wrong. Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed up the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry. We are. It's really hard to grade the graphics in the opening area of this game. For the simple fact that the opening was originally, I mean, it was originally well polished to give you a false sense of security with how well this game runs and performs, right? So you could do, you could play the game for like two hours and never know. Never know about bugs and, and all that. It's not until you get further along in the game that you really start to see the, the issues with this game. So, I mean, I can't make any judgments on what, what the patch fixed or what it didn't uh, fix because I know that this area is it's pretty on purpose it's meant to suck you in right so i uh, really can't make any judgments about that but yeah i just wanted to cover those three things right that uh people might make uh it, like th this is the tunnels this is a hey, ps4 problem okay it's not a tech land problem it's not a dying light problem it's your console man why don't you get a new console i'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a new console just to get one game to work and i would hope that other people wouldn't wouldn't think that way either like if your ps4 is giving you trouble and none of your games are working or the vast majority of your games are not working then absolutely maybe it's time to invest in another console but no don't don't spend hundreds of dollars to buy a ps5 if you could even if you could find one just to get one game to work guys no hold techland accountable Tell them straight up, you need to fix this game. Um, hey, that's what you should do. Is anybody there? Oh, it'd certainly shit. save you some this money, wouldn't it? Look good. All right, here comes the big scare. Big scary. Big scary. All right. Oh my God. Here's a cutscene. Kind of hard to see because it is dark. Uh, oh, Cutscene, 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 cutscene. Alright. Yes, blah, 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 blah. We're skipping. The reason why we're skipping all this is that I've seen it. I've seen this like at least seven times now, so. I would expect. I would expect this just to look just fine. It does. It looks just fine. Um, I keep wanting to run, but of course you can't, right? You have to unlock that fast running. It's kind of annoying. I'm button mashing for nothing. So yeah, my position on Dying Light 2 is not that it is a bad game. I don't mind the story, and I certainly don't mind... Um, I don't mind the game mechanics, uh, or, like, you know, the grind and all that other stuff. I don't mind any of that with this game. Um, I just mind it when it's not working, right? <laughs> That's what I mind. I mind it that this game, uh, doesn't work. And I fear that by the time this game actually starts looking good and feeling good, it's gonna be right about the time that this game is no longer worth the money you paid for it. It's already getting there. What is it? 33% off on this game. So it's already starting, right? The game, they're already... They're starting to work on the game to try to get it better. 
as the price is now falling, right? So, was it really worth $60? No. No. You were supposed to be dead! Where did you hide our key, boy? I yeah, don't know boy. what you're talking about. Let it be. You're gonna make us... I like how the first enemy you really encounter in this game is named Tyre. You know, and he was like one of the hardest dudes to de to defeat in the first game. And they named like the first and obviously like the weakest enemy in in this game. They named him Tyre. I, I I get it. It's cute. It's very cute. All right. So what are we doing here? And of course, combat in this area is also meant to be very smooth. All right. We're not in the open world yet. Not a, not by a long shot. So I'm I'm anticipating on the combat in this area to be incredibly smooth and the enemies to respond correctly to my What did you do to here? Why don't you come and find out? Why don't you come find out? But yeah, anyway, I did a video last night and it took it took me like twenty-five minutes. And I'm like, you know what? We we could we could cover the topics in that video uh, so much faster, I think. And so we did. I feel like we did. And we, you know what? Just go ahead and load Dying Light 2 back up. And so we can talk about it, right? And we did. So. And, alright. So, we talked about everything I wanted to cover. And uh, I'm stuck playing this game again. For how long, I don't know. I don't know if I really will continue on with this game. I, I might piddle with it in my downtime. Uh, and and maybe maybe finally see some improvements because this is a this is a brand new save. So um, the game does that sometimes. Sometimes you have to start all over again just to see what the patches really did for the game, um, which is another pet peeve of, of mine. Of mine, I do not like games where. You, you can't really get attached to all the hard work you put into it because you're going to have to start it over eventually if you want to actually see um, the positive changes that patches have made to it, if they did anything at all. Uh, so it's really hard to get comfortable with this game. Uh, so yeah, we, we did some Dying Light stuff, okay? We, we talked about it, and uh, yeah, look over, you know, just, just kind of think about what I said about some of these responses, the negative responses about the PS4, and um, if you see people like this, you know, and they're, they're, they're yarping on and on and on using these points, okay? Um, don't be afraid to jump in there and counter those points, because I don't think they thought out those points at all. I really don't think they thought it out. It's like, it's really hard to make those arguments when you've got games like Far Cry 6 and Elden Ring that perform very, quite well on the PS4. You know, so, uh, yada, yada, yada. All right. So I did, I did, uh, I did my, my two cents on that. And with that said, good night and good luck, my honeys. Uh... Me and Little Mama are probably going to get into Outriders very soon. And I'm looking forward to that. I heard they fixed the uh, the co-op issues with that. So, yeah, we'll probably be doing some of that. I'm really excited. Looking forward to it. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>